All right, this section is sonar, uh, section three, uh, recording uh, vocals, uh, other audio, mixing, editing, and mastering. All right, so first thing we double click on sonar. And uh, there's already a song that I recorded. Uh, well, actually, I didn't record it, I did a mix down and mastering uh, session for this group called Blaze. I'll open it up here and you can see all the tracks here and uh, basically what I'm going to do is do different uh, just a section of the song I'm not going to try to mix edit and master the whole song for the sake of time just get around the functional parts of sonar so that you can see how to use it uh, mixing the entire song at this point is not very important first thing first though I'm going to just start it from here play it hey, baby. Hey, baby. now this track right here which is track eight um what it did is converted the music tracks down to one stereo track of uh, audio which uh you know that's you can easily do that just by highlighting all the music tracks and bounce to tracks which I'll show you how to do that once I mix this section down to the it's the same steps that you use for uh, music tracks uh, in making a, an audio track like this but uh, this section will kind of hit two birds with one stone by dealing with how you mix your music down and your vocals down alright but let's see if right here you have M S and R R you've already seen stands for record when you activate it we don't need to do any recording at this point M and S M is for mute you know you don't want to hear the sound solo is for you know you just uh, highlighting that particular track and you're just listening to that uh, particular track so like right here as I'm playing the song you can hear the music and the vocals by the S, you notice I'm just hearing the um, music track. Well, if I want to go here and go, I just want to hear that particular track. Track 10 is a vocal track. Put them back together. And then let's say if you're listening to the track and you want to get rid of something, you say I don't want to hear the music. I just want to hear the vocals. Baby. Girl, Baby, I really need to talk to you. All right, so now we got all of that in place. All right, now what I'm going to do is let's get to mixing and editing. Uh, usually with tracks, I like to do my editing first. Um, I'm going to start off with, uh, let's see, I won't do anything with the music track. I'm going to move this up here to the top. So it's over my vocal tracks. I'm just going to focus basically on this section of the song. You know, basically what I'm going to do uh, is just, you know, highlight the areas that I want for mixing purposes. All right. So with all that being said and done, uh, with my tracks being highlighted, what I can do is any track that you want to highlight let's say if you're going to highlight from the side here uh, you it's just like with making the music when you highlight across the top that's how much of it i'm going to actually use when i highlight across the side then you know that allows me to highlight all of the tracks you know that i want to actually put effects on or do something to but I'm not going to do that. It really wouldn't make any sense to um, do the same thing to all the tracks. Well, not at this point anyway. There's a point where you do that, but it's in once you're finished. All right, so basically what I'm going to do is, if you notice too, some of the tracks don't even have anything. Like the tracks one through four, there's nothing going on right there. It's dead air. And then tracks from here to here, those are pretty much dead air. And then this particular track 
is actually muted. I think it's another version of the music tracks uh, that we have for some reason, but we don't even need that. So what you can do is hold down your CTRL key or your control key. And when you hold down your control key, you can actually select tracks that you want to use and omit others. So I'm going to just do one track at a time. But I'm going to skip over track 8. See? and But I can still select and get here, 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 and here. So those are really the only tracks that are active uh, as far as what I want to do as far as the mixing and editing. So I'm going to hit the H key on my keyboard and it pulls everything in close. So as you can see now the waves look a little bit more defined. not going to sound any different but you know as far as like dealing with what I'm trying to see uh, it kind of helps out uh, what I'm gonna do right now is just kind of focus in on the lead track which is this guy's rap track right here and the music so I'm gonna highlight 5 hit the control key and highlight track 10 and then I'm gonna hit the H key and boom now I can actually see these two tracks. Uh, I'm going to go back by hitting the U key because really what I want to do is I don't want to hear the other tracks. Uh, I'm not ready to solo them yet, so I'm just going to right click, mute, and highlight right here, and then right click on one of the tracks. And this is a quick way to do a lot of different mutings and soloings with one click boom now all of those are actually going to be muted so i'm going to hear is the uh, music track and this particular audio track so i'm going to go back to the h key i'm going to move it over a little bit closer to my vocal and listen to it hey baby baby i really need to talk to you you notice there's a little section out right here on the vocals uh, there was actually a, a, a piece of profanity so since this is a g-rated um <laughs> a g-rated um tutorial i took the profanity out all right but i'm going to take this section and i'm going to do some things with it um, I'm gonna hit delete here, make a little section of air, highlight that, and delete there. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna isolate this particular section. I'm gonna go edit, bounce to clips, so that that little piece that was in the middle there where I edit the vocal out is gone now. First off, the vocals are a little loud. You see they're stretched all the way to the edges. The music track isn't even that loud. So I'm going to go process, audio, gain. And I'm going to turn it down just a little bit. Let's say maybe like about 4 dB cut. All right, now you see they look a little bit better. All right, so now I'll play that back. showers big ego plus some handsome too them girls were getting at me i'm in love with you Jenny craig all right so now that works out pretty good now the first thing i want to do is use a little bit of eq so i'm gonna go here to uh show you in dealing with effects there's basically two ways to use effects uh one you can render the effects to the wave or you can use the effects in real time I don't really like to use a lot of effects in real time because what it'll do what it will do is um, actually cause the computer 
to kind of uh, slow down. It uses a lot more resources from the computer. Kind of strains it a little bit. It's like having a truck, pickup truck, and you know you can haul things. But let's say if you load it, the more you load it up, you know you're going up a hill. It's a little strain on it trying to pull it. Same thing with uh, using the CPU of a computer. The more things you try to use simultaneously kind of slows the system down you might even get a few dropouts of the crash every now and then so but anyway you I mean you can use a certain number of effects in real time but like I like to use things and render them to the way and uh, in order to keep from doing something and not being able to undo it I go here before I start mixing I'm gonna go file save as and I got blaze song 1a and at the end of it I'm gonna type in mix one all right and that mix one is just gonna be the first few things that I do which are basic first thing I'm gonna do is go here and uh, go to process and Sony and graphic EQ and I have some presets that I've already set up in here. You know, I can cover I cover different ways to use EQ and so on and so forth in the advanced section of the training. But right now I'm gonna pick my preset that I made for myself, High Boost 2, which is gonna give me a little bit more lift on the high ends. Click OK. And I play it back. Hey baby. Baby, I really need to talk. All right, that lifted up my high ends. All right, now the next thing that I like to do is go audio effects, Sony, and scroll down to the wave hammer. Wave hammer is sort of like a compressor. And the preset that I got for that is two main compression. All right, and what that did is it kind of leveled everything off again because the graphic EQ kind of made things look a little more erratic I'm gonna undo it there all right that's the way it looked before I used the EQ EQ did it kind of you know it, did, it, did, it made some sections louder but it was basically dynamically uh, disproportionate so I'll go here redo the wave hammer and it makes it more it makes it proportionate so hit the play button. Hey baby. Baby, I really need to talk to you. My first love, my flower, up and let my cold showers. Big ego, plus some handsome too. Them girls were getting at me. I'm in love with you. Alright, now the first thing I want to do is I'm gonna add a little bit of reverb here. Now this, I'm actually going to use a uh, real-time effect. I'm going to go here, audio effects, and I'm going to pull up my lexicon. Really sweet reverb. All right, and I'm going to use large hall. And when you listen to it wide open, it's going to sound strange. That's way too much reverb. So what you do is go here to what says mix and turn it down. Hey baby. baby, I really need to talk to you. My first love, my flower, up and let my cold showers, big ego, plus some handsome too. You can hear it a little bit better right there. Alright, so that reverb is fine. Alright, now we click off of that, just play it. Hey baby. Baby, I really need to talk to you. My first love, my flower, up and let my cold showers, big ego, plus some handsome too. All right, now on that section that said cold showers, I'm gonna color it a little bit. I don't like everything to sound the same when I mix. Uh, flower, up and let my cold showers. Okay, cold showers. I want to have a almost like a telephone kind of sound. So I'm gonna highlight that section. What I did is I clicked my little scissor or split tool and click here and here. And I'm gonna go 
edit bounce the clip so I'm making sure I got that one little section isolated we go back here to my selection tool highlight it now this effect I'm actually render onto the wave all right there again back to my Sony set and I'm going to use paragraphic EQ and I have a preset already for that nudge it up just a little bit maybe to 940 all right and I'm going to play it back you know that you can hear it a little bit better without the track it made it thin like a telephone thing matter of fact I might even take a piece of this off uh, the wave I don't think I really need it let me just see Cold showers, big e yeah I didn't really need that part I guess it was part of the profanity uh, thing didn't really get rid of the whole thing alright so now I'm just playing it back my flower up and let my cold showers big ego plus some handsome too there we go so now I got that section rolling I'm gonna play it back again it's time with the music track. Love, my flower, open up my cold showers. Big ego, plus some handsome too. Them girls were getting at me. I'm in love with you. Chini Craig, these only nights is simply bad. Let's reminisce, press rewind. All the steamy nights in the Alpine. All right, I think I'll do the same thing here in the Alpine. In the Alpine. All right, so using my little scissors or a little clip thing, select that, edit, bounce the clips, and then get my selection tool. I like that, and I'm gonna scroll back down to the Sony Paragraphic EQ, and I think I used like 940, I believe. I'm gonna just type that in manually somewhere in that vicinity so I'm gonna play that part back press rewind all them steamy nights in the Alpine with your thong gone all right so got that going all right now let's see you know I want to have at the end of this phrase um, let's see let me just play it right there's a section I think I want to have a little bit of echo what you gon' go on? Such a sexy frame, put blaze on. Hot whips, big bank rolls. Your neck and your wrist, you know they stay froze. Baby, come on home, you're one of the kind. I'm losing you when my mind at the same time. I'm losing you when my mind at the same time. Alright, so now I'm gonna go here and, um, I'm going to hit the A key on my keyboard. That's going to pull all my tracks back in. And uh, I heard some other tracks coming now. I can see they're actually from this top track right here. Mute those, uh, mute those tracks. Um, let's see. And also these tracks. All right. So as I'm playing it, um or as i'm looking at all the tracks there's a section that i want to have a reverb on i mean not reverb but an echo on so i'm going to right click clone track and if you notice it made a repeat of the same exact track and i'm going to delete all the content of that track and you say well why did you clone it and then delete it well, I want the properties from this track, which is like my reverb that I set up. But I'm going to use the track to pull down a section that I want to have an echo on. So it'll be on its own separate track. All right. So I go here. And um, let's say I want to have this track right here. Put blaze on. All right, and the particular word, uh, I think own. Own. I think own is what I want to have. Uh, echo. Own. So I'm going to use my little scissors. 
and snip snip here I'm gonna cut my grid on but you have to make sure that's on measure move by measure move by and I'm going to move this down there all right now I got my track with just the word on but I'm going to use echo on that particular track in real time so go to audio effects sonatus fx delay it's a good one all right now what's going to happen here uh, I'm gonna cut the grid off so I can just kind of get in between measures all right that's the the it's not going in the rhythm of the track it's just random echo blaze on hot whip you know which that's fine but if you want to get it closer to the tempo of the song uh this tempo is not the actual tempo of the song it's actually some other tempo so i'm gonna have to kind of wing it and try to listen to the track and get it close to the track as far as putting the end tempo almost i'm gonna use this move move the bpms a little lower all right so it seems to be right around 98 i'm gonna play that one more time with the track okay that seems to be in tempo with the song so now i can actually get jiggy and move more sections down to that same track hey baby baby i really need to talk to you my first love my flower up and let my cold showers big ego plus some handsome too them girls were getting at me i'm in love with you so i'm gonna use you as well all right so i'll highlight that section cut my grid on so to slide it down in a precise place cut the grid back off and let's play it back plus some handsome too them girls were getting at me i'm in love with you Jimmy craig all right now i'm gonna turn the music off so i can hear it a little better Plus some handsome too. Them girls were getting at me. I'm in love with you. You, you, Jenny Craig. All right, so I got my echo there. And I think I might have one more echo spot at the very, well, almost end of the phrase, maybe about right here. Same time. Let's say same time. All right, good grid, pull it down, cut the grid off, and just play it back. I can't, I'm losing you with my mind at the same time. I'm losing you. All right, cool, that works for me. So now what you've seen is using effects in real time and using effects rendering. So I'm gonna hit save. All right, now, uh, just in case everything that I did I didn't like, I can always go back to my original file, which is Blaze Song A. And if you look at it, boom, everything is back to the way it was. So if I need to redo some things, I can do it uh, and don't have to worry about having sacrificed the original file. But I like everything that I did, so I'm going to keep it. All right, hit the A key so that I can see all my tracks again. All right, now I got other uh, tracks that I can put effects on. I mean, you can go buck wild as far as effects go. Um, but, you know, like I said, for the sake of the presentation, you know, I'm not trying to do all of that. I'm just trying to give you a general idea of how you can use effects in real time and uh and rendering them onto waves 
all right now the other thing you can do also I got this track right here uh, let's see well actually that track is not really well yeah I guess I could maybe right here use this section of the track and uh, what I'm going to do is now we're going to do this thing called comping uh, which allows you to get rid of tracks that you don't need by consolidating tracks after you've already mixed them alright so I'm going to take these four tracks I've highlighted I'm going to go edit bounce to tracks let me use the preset what you hear click OK alright now these I'm going to just play these four tracks I'm going to solo them so you can just hear those four tracks alright that's those four tracks now I'm going to highlight the one track that I made so you see what I did is I turned four tracks into one so now technically I can just get rid of these tracks and I'm also going to get rid of the extra music track I don't need. I'm just getting rid of stuff that I don't need alright and you know as with those two tracks you can do the same thing with other tracks as well these are more background tracks uh, I'm gonna have for maybe from here to here so edit same thing bounce the tracks click OK alright and then click on delete oh wait a minute I'm sorry I didn't mean to do that let me do that again I had the solo on which means technically there was nothing there that I just bounced down or tried to bounce down alright so edit bounce the tracks and boom yeah now we can see some things there is supposed to be uh, let's see and actually it looks like there's more to that track than there actually is visible I'm gonna play that first oh I see yeah what it did is it actually recorded one of the other tracks on the mix down you see me make mistakes I had this track highlighted by accident so I'm gonna go ahead you see me make mistakes in real time I'm not perfect <laughs> but thank goodness for undo so I'm gonna go back here highlight these two tracks make sure nothing else is highlighted and we're gonna do it again bounce the tracks and okay that looks right so I'm gonna go ahead and delete those two tracks now that I have them in place and also these tracks right here I'm just gonna do one broad swoop and get these I'll skip over this track go down here I'll bounce all those together now the reason I did them in sections is because certain things I want to use certain effects on that I don't want to have on other tracks to give her everything its own unique flavor Okay, that took longer to render that because uh, there again then another mistake I forgot to highlight across the top just to get the piece that I wanted to get um, which is basically just from I want to say maybe about right there 
So I just manually get rid of it like this. And there. I'm going to play it just to make sure it's what I want it to be. Want to give you all that you need and more. Oh, I, I got to get it back like it. All right, cool. That's what I wanted. And then up to maybe about right here on the bottom. Okay, so now with all that being said and done, now I can highlight all of these tracks. Get rid of these. And hit file and save. Now you're saying, Jimmy God, I mean, you deleted a whole bunch of tracks. But not to worry. They're all on another file as well. So this is really just for demonstration. You know, I would take more time to do what I'm doing also. But, you know, we're just trying to get into using effects in real time, non real time, and using comping features. All right, now, so I'm gonna play this back. Now, right here, I'm gonna use another effect in real time. Uh, one that I like to use to see the vocal strip, it's called uh, Sugary Sweet. Kind of an EQ thing. That's what it sounds like with. That's what it sounds like without. Girl, I'm losing it. Put a little bit of reverb on it too as well. Large hall. Turn it down to maybe like about seven. And play that back again. Maybe I'm gonna lose it. My first love, my flower, open up my cold showers, big ego, plus I'm handsome too, them girls were getting at me, I'm in love with you, Jimmy Craig. I'm going to turn my echo track up just a little bit. That me, I'm in love with you. Jimmy Craig, these only nights, it's in love with you. Jimmy Craig. All right, that sounds better. All right, now um, it's about time to get to the end. So I'm going to go to a section of the song which pretty much has everything. Hit file, save as. Play it. So now what we want to do is go to view console. This is like the mixer board part of Sonar. You want to look at the levels here. All right, now if you look right here, this is the master output. It's the very last one. If you notice, it's peaking in the red. That is a no-no. So what I'm going to do here is go down to the bottom to lock the faders. Uh, what that does is it allows me to, if I move one, it moves the other. And I'm going to turn it down to, let's say, maybe negative 7 dB because I don't want it to peak. Turn up a little bit. It can go on the red, but you just don't want it to peak. All right, that looks good. Now the other ones you see peaking, that's okay. This is the one. This is the master output right here. All right, so now we hit the red X. I mean, not the red X, but the X and kind of exit out of that. All right, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight all of this. It's time to do the mastering. I've done the mixing and editing so far. So I'm going to go to edit, bounce to tracks. Now what this is going to do, this is going to bounce all the vocals and the music together. All right. So wait for our little rendering bar to complete down at the bottom here. It's taking everything and mixing it down. You know, of 
course, this would take a longer period of time if I were doing, you know, the entire song and doing treatments to each specific track. That's why it takes such a long time to mix and master a song to get it nice and clean and, you know, put all your effects and EQs and things that you want to have in place. All right, so now I see everything is bounced down here. Now, what I did here, when I did the edit bounce to tracks, that if you go back to your music tracks so or the music track that I made for section one of the um, of the presentation, you know, for making music tracks, you highlight all of the music tracks and bounce, go edit bounce the tracks and then you turn the music track into a stereo music track or an audio track and then you can mute all of your midi tracks and just focus on your audio and what that does it does two things one you know you're looking at an audio track as far as you know your levels and everything and uh you have more control over your track then and it also conserves the cpu usage or the computer's you know engine it doesn't strain as much it's kind of like streamlining there again using the analogy of a pickup truck you know I had a whole bunch of tracks here when I started off uh, you know with this right here you know so you know you can tell it you know, puts a strain on the system uh, whereas if I got this right here now it's less you know I can move faster all right, so I'm going to highlight track 8, and I'm going to go here, and I'm going to hit the solo button because I want to only just hear this track right here. All right, now the first thing I'm going to do is go in here, and I'm going to go process audio effects. Now it's time to do the mastering. You probably think, well, this is going to take a really long time. No, actually not. There's one device that I use here in the Waves um, set, and it is called the L3 Multi Maximizer Stereo. This one plug-in by itself costs about $1,600. This does all your mastering for you. We'll go here to 16-bit. All CDs are 16-bit. Click OK. And what's going to happen, it's going to maximize the volume to its maximum volume, but without distorting it. As you can see how the wave got fatter, you know, this is the way it looked. Then we use the multi-maximizer, it maximizes the volume, but you won't hear any distortion. And when you look at the meter, you know, so it'll go up to the highest point, but never peak. That's what you want. So now I'm ready to actually export it out of Sonar so that I can make a CD of that song. So you highlight the section that you want. Let's see if I want to have a fade at the end. Let's also uh, do a fade. I'm going to put it uh, right here. I'm going to highlight that section right there. Go process, audio, fade envelope, fade out. All right, so I'm going to hit the play button. Let's listen to it. Wow, sounds just like a record. But anyway, <laughs> now we we'll go here. We'll highlight the song. And we'll go file, export, audio. All right, now it's going into a folder right here, which is my music. You know, you can designate where you want things to go. And I'm going to call it, uh, let's say, Blaze uh, Test Mix, because, you know, I didn't really mix the whole song here. All right, so you name, just like with naming the project before you start, this is where you put the real name of the song or at least a file name of the song that you can find here um, and I'm going to put bit depth from 32 to 16 bit 
that's all you really have to do and then hit export but i'm going to stop here for a second because the main reason that you have to do that uh is that all cds that you purchase in the store are 16 bit you're not going to have variable bit depth rates even though this can go all the way up to 64 bit you know that's really for you know editing purposes and you know transporting files and stuff like that but when you're ready to make a cd all your cds have to be 16 bit this is universal worldwide so now I click on export and it is gone uh oh wait a minute There's one thing i forgot to do you go here to view console and you know, i turned it down negative 4.7 you have to double click here so it goes back to zero now i'm going to re-export that again file export audio and i'm going to go back to the same thing i have to type that again hit export do i want to overwrite it yes so i export it out all right so now i'm ready to make a cd so i go here to tools burn audio cd all right so i want to there's some songs here that i already used previously for burning so i'm gonna get rid of those by clicking on delete I'm ready to add a track to burn to a cd so go here and i find it oh blaze test mix click open now I put a CD in my CD burner and then just click on CD burn CD then I'm off to the radio station of course I don't have a blank CD to put in there and I wouldn't burn a song this short anyway but anyway that's how you do it recording audio was uh, touched on the previous section this is mixing editing and mastering using sonar now there are other things you can that you can do in advanced levels you know i have a section of or a series of, for advanced uh techniques you know by subject matter which is you know way more extensive for people who want to get into it deeper but this is the generality of it uh in using uh, sonar getting around highlighting wave files uh copying them down you know save tracks doing mix files so you don't destruct original files you know using effects in real time and using effects uh rendering the effects to the wave that is what this section was all about which you know if you can master those things you pretty much got it covered uh, everything else from that point is pretty much um you know specific to the producer or the artist you know because there are a million different possibilities from that point on and uh so but this basically covers what we need to cover for this section and uh that's it